Louis Joseph Chevrolet, December 25, 1878, June 6, 1941, was a Swiss race car driver, co founder of the Chevrolet Motor Car Company in 1911, and a founder in 1916 of the Frontenac Motor Corporation. Chapter 1 Life and Career Chapter 1 Section 1 Early Life The second child of Joseph Felician Chevrolet, a watchmaker, and Mayan Angeline Mahon, Louis Joseph Chevrolet was born in La Chaux de Fonds, canton of Neuchâtel, a centre of watchmaking in northwestern Switzerland. In 1886, Chevrolet's family left Switzerland to live in Beaune, in the Côte d'Or département of France. There, as a young man, Louis developed his mechanical skills and interest in bicycle racing. Chapter 1 Section 2 Early Career Chevrolet worked for the Roblin Mechanics Shop in Beaune from 1895 to 1899. He then went to Paris, where he worked for a short time before emigrating to Montreal, Quebec, Canada in 1900 to work as a mechanic. The following year, he moved to New York City, where he worked briefly for a fellow Swiss immigrants engineering company, then moved to the Brooklyn operations of the French car manufacturer de Dion Bouton. In 1905 he married Suzanne Threvu, the couple had two sons. In the same year, he was hired by Fiat as a racing car driver. In 1907, Chevrolet was hired by the auto car company in Philadelphia, probably for a secret project to develop a revolutionary front-wheel drive racing car. His racing career continued as he drove for Buick, becoming a friend and associate of Buick owner William C. Durant, founder of General Motors. He raced at the Giants' Despair Hill Climb in 1909. With little in the way of formal education, Chevrolet learned car design while working for Buick and started designing his own engine for a new car in 1909. He built an overhead valve six-cylinder engine in his own machine shop on Grand River Boulevard in Detroit, Michigan. Chapter 1 Section 3 Chevrolet Car Company on November 3, 1911, Chevrolet co-founded the Chevrolet Motor Car Company with his brother Arthur, Durant, and investment partners William Little and Dr. Edwin R. Campbell, son-in-law of Durant and friend of Samuel McLaughlin of the McLaughlin Car Company of Canada Limited the company was established in Detroit. One story tells the choosing of the company's logo as a modified Swiss cross, to honor Chevrolet's homeland. Another story tells of the Chevrolet logo, as a design taken from the wallpaper of a Paris hotel room where Louis once stayed. Chevrolet had differences with Durant over the car's design, and in 1915 sold Durant his share in the company and started McLaughlin's company in Canada building Chevrolets. By 1916 the trading of Chevrolet stock for GM holding stock enabled Durant to repurchase a controlling stake in General Motors, and by 1917 the Chevrolet company that Louis had co-founded was merged as a company into General Motors after the outstanding Chevrolet stocks were purchased from McLaughlin in 1918. The McLaughlin Car Company then merged with his Chevrolet Motor Company of Canada Limited to become General Motors of Canada Limited in 1918, prior to the incorporation of the General Motors Corporation in the U.S. when General Motors Company of New Jersey dissolved. Chapter 1 Section 4, Frontenac, and American Car Companies In 1916, Louis Chevrolet and his brothers founded the Frontenac Motor Corporation to make racing parts for Ford Model Ts. Also in 1916, American Motors Corporation was formed in Newark, New Jersey, with Louis Chevrolet as vice president and chief engineer. By 1918 it was producing cars in a plant at Plainfield, New Jersey. In 1923 it merged with the Bessemer Motor Truck Company of Pennsylvania into Bessemer American Motors Corporation, which lasted less than a year before merging with the Winther and Northway companies into Amalgamated Motors. The latter company apparently ceased soon after. Chapter 1 Section 5 Auto Racing By the mid-1910s, Louis Chevrolet had shifted into the racing car industry, partnering with Howard E. Blood of Allegan, Michigan, to create the Cornelian Racing Car, which he used to place 20th in the 1915 Indianapolis 500 automobile race. In 1916, 
He and younger brothers Gaston and Arthur Chevrolet started Frontenac Motor Corporation, designing and producing a line of racing cars. They became well known for, among other things, their fronty Ford racers. Louis drove in the Indianapolis 500 four times, with a best finish of seventh in 1919. Both Louis and Gaston competed successfully with racing sunbeams achieving a number of third places in 1916. Arthur competed twice, and Gaston won the race in 1920 in one of their front tenocks, going on to win the 1920 Triple A National Championship. He also raced for the Buick Racing Team. Chapter 1 Section 6 – Death Chevrolet died on June 6, 1941, in Detroit due to a heart attack. He had been plagued with atherosclerosis, which had previously led to a leg amputation. He is buried in the Holy Cross and St. Joseph Cemetery in Indianapolis, Indiana. Chapter 2 – Louis Chevrolet Memorial The Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum in Speedway, Indiana, features a memorial at the entrance to the building dedicated to the accomplishments of Louis Chevrolet. The memorial, designed by Fred Wellman, and sculpted by Adolf Walter, was created during 1968-1970, and installed in the spring of 1975. The centerpiece of the memorial is a bronze bust of Chevrolet wearing a racing cap and goggles, it rests on a marble and granite square base. Chapter 3 Indy 500 Results Chapter 4 Awards Chevrolet was inducted into the following Halls of Fame Automotive Hall of Fame National Sprint Car Hall of Fame International Motorsports Hall of Fame Motorsports Hall of Fame of America